Hey guys, I went to Costco, got a box of Ling Ling's all natural mini spring roll chicken, with basically with dipping sauce. Um, basically, I put it in the toaster oven, cooked it for 450 degrees at about 13 14 minutes, which is pretty cool. Uh, they come frozen in a bag, there's 30 of them, and I opened about 15 of them to cook up. Actually, probably less than that. But overall, it comes in two bags, and the sauce packets are inside those frozen bags. These are frozen. Basically, I put a bunch of them in my um, Black & Decker toaster oven. And I have the link to below if you want to do it. I love this toaster oven. I've always used something like this. Uh, but yeah, put it into bake. Put it to 450 for broil. I preheated everything first and then put those uh, things in. And, you know, cooked it for about 15 minutes, 14 minutes, probably. It's all good. I left the package, which was frozen on top and on our tray, so that it would heat up and warm up, because it was frozen solid too. So... That's what, why it was there. After about 15 minutes, they come out golden brown, and the top outside looks pretty crispy. Um, but when you coat it, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty small size, too. They're only about inch, two inches or so, roughly. Two and a half inches or so. Inside, there is chicken, ground-up chicken protein, and um, pepper, as well as some veggies, like carrots and cel celery. Well, not cel celery, but they're carrots and spinach or some onion stuff, too. This dipping sauce is not bad. It's a sweet and sour dipping sauce. The overall skin was kind of chewy. Well, not chewy, but it was just too thick. It wasn't crispy like what you expect from a uh, spring roll. Uh, I like the fact that it does have a lot of veggies in it. And the fact that the chicken does taste okay. But it's not, it's processed chicken. It's more like it's all ground up chicken. And with pepper inside. I'm not sure why you put so much pepper in it. But basically, yeah, it tastes okay if it's a snacking food. It's more like a finger snacking food. But the skin is really, if you're expecting something that's really crispy, and like uh, at a Vietnamese restaurant or something like that, you're not going to get it from these. These are, the skin is way too thick. And because it's frozen, it doesn't have that same crispiness as the fresh, you know, restaurant style ones are, or the ones at Chinese supermarkets or anything else like that. Pretty, um, in a way, it's kind of disappointing. I love Ling Ling's uh, dumplings, but this one's kind of, eh, it's okay. I think it was like for 7 or $10 or something like that. But anyways, I figured I'd let you know. See you next time, guys. Stay tuned for more Costco finds. Bye.